What's going on guys? Welcome to another video and in today's video I'm going to show you the second project of the Treehouse Full Stack Tech Degree. Alright, so here is the second project and I'm going to go straight to it what we need to do in here. So basically they give us like this page as we can see in here, look. This could be something else. They are giving you for example in here a lot of students. And what we need to do is basically break this down into pages. We are getting this data through a HTML or through, through an API or something. And imagine that in, now we have, I think is around like 64 students or something like that. We need to grab this data and just break it down into pages. So for example, page one is going to show like 10 students, page two, another 10 students. And this is just like doing it uh, dynamically all right so this is how like the full how it should look like in the end look in here I have like 10 students if I press one it goes to the next page and it goes to the next page and because look at this because I think I have like 64 students it, it gives me like these six pages because the first one I put as, as zero but I, I, I could change this yeah so this is what it should li look like but for example if you have 100 students it should give you more pages all of this is done automatically with JavaScript okay JavaScript is just like counting how many this is what you have to do in the project basically and as well this is like a, a kind of a exceed project so is not like really necessary for you to to um, to pass the project but this is what gives you like the exceed expectations grade if you build some kind of a search button okay and this in here for example let's say um, uh, this girl in here Sarah Alves so if I'm gonna put in here SA for example and I click search look SA for Sarah Alves, but there is also Elsa in here, S-A. So this is going to show up. Uh, as you can see, I still didn't finish this completely, my project, but it's working the, the most, the core functionality. So if I just like get rid of this and go back, for example, if I put uh, Ed, you've got Edgar in here and you also have Edward and so on. And the thing is now about this project guys, there is something called, I was even looking in here uh, into the Wikipedia about the progressive enhancement. This is something, this is a kind of methodology and there is a lot of people actually asking this question in, um, in uh, interviews. Okay. And what basically is a progressive enhancement? Progressive enhancement is you have to get, for example, this is how, how the page looks like without any JavaScript on it. And you need to make sure that the page looks okay. If, for example, if someone is, is watching, is, um, is trying to access this page and their internet is very slow or JavaScript is blocked or something, at least they can see this, the, the page as it is like this. There is like a default page that can look okay in any computer, any browser, any internet connection. And that, that's what the progressive enhancement means. It means that you have a basic page, but you can also make it better with, uh, with JavaScript, for example, in here. I'm making it better with JavaScript in here with the pagination and with the search. That's what the progressive enhancement means. Um, so yeah, yeah, guys, this is like the second project. I know that a lot of you have been uh, waiting for it. I'm just going to show you in here quickly some of the stuff that uh, we had to learn to, to go through it. I, I always like to show it. So for example, there is like a, a video in here. This is for the unit two um, about what, what the project is going to be about. After we learn, we have some classes in video classes about uh, ES, uh, ES 2015 uh, JavaScript. We have some practices. We have a practice with CSS selectors, JavaScript and the DOM, all of these things. And obviously you need to watch all of these before you can actually dive into your, your project. 
but uh, yeah guys this is just like something to, to let you know all of these videos that we can watch in here to, to get ready for the project they are available in the normal subscription okay when you subscribe to treehouse for the 25 dollars a month or something all of these videos are in there they are in the normal library if you go in here into this library i'm going to open it for you okay this library in here that you go for example to uh, what is javascript in here uh javascript where are you um I think I'm, I'm I'm blind now. Where is JavaScript? Okay, we got Android, HTML, uh, ah, JavaScript. Okay. So all of these videos in here, they are the same of what you have in here. Obviously, after the project is going to be like uh, only for people who are signed in the tech degree. And if I'm going in here into the project after, they give you a little bit about uh, the instructions that you need how you will be graded when you cl can click in there uh, and there is a lot of stuff in here that um, is is really gonna like give you some um, some information about the project what you need and also guys don't forget that who whoever is uh, signed up to the tech degree we have access to these uh, slack of the treehouse tech degrees uh, where there is all the students all the students who are subscribed to this they are in here participating you have moderators you have people who are reviewing your projects and if you ever feel stuck with anything you can just come here and ask questions to other students to the to the moderators to the reviewers look there is a lot of different channels in here there is this one for chit chat people just like talking about random stuff there is uh, this one review my project when when you finish your project you you can actually just go in here and say look here is my project is completely done can can someone just review it for me before i submit it for for review because i think if you submit your your project for review and it doesn't uh, meet the expectations you can only submit it for review in another week okay so that's always a good idea to come here to the slack and ask people other students or someone in here to review your project before you submit it and as well look you have all the units all the different projects in here you have a, a channel for it where you where you can go and see what other people are struggling with or you can even put your own questions so um yeah i guess i guess that's it uh, that's it for this video guys you can see already how this is like a really great project uh how you can do pagination and how you can do for example a search a search uh, bar in here to search for results or for for other kind of data this is some this is a really good project that you can put on your portfolio um <laughs> rather than the to-do list that everybody is just doing so yeah i think like i said that's it for this video guys i hope you enjoy it if you are if you are serious about uh, uh, becoming a web developer and you want to commit yourself rather than just like being at home by yourself trying to learn from a uh, fr uh, free code camp or, or code academy or whatever commit yourself with something like this like treehouse tech degree where you're going to be paying a monthly fee i think it's like 200 dollars a month so you are like okay i'm paying this money i have to go through this i need to learn uh, and like this you are not going to pro procrastinate when you come home from work or on the weekends you're going to put in the work because you feel this pressure okay i'm paying this money but i have to put my effort in so i can finish this and learn this properly that's what i did uh, a while ago when i was becoming a web developer as well but yeah guys uh, if if you want to check there is a link in the in the description for a, there is a discount for the um, the three hours tech degree and they give you also some kind of um, free trial if you want to just like check out the first project i think you have like either it's seven or, or 14 days something like that where you can check how it works and everything so yeah now <laughs> really that's it for this video guys i hope you enjoy it if you have any questions just as usual Put them down below, I answer to all of your questions and I'll see you in the next one.